our biggest attachment is our own idea you know that we are attached to our idea because in a way like it's like we like if we think if we create like a idea this is good then you know we go after that so it is not that we are running after this thing we are running after our own idea so this when we are running after our own idea that idea is actually in our own mind it is not there you know like what happens with the people we meet so for example you know sometimes we say you know i fall in love with some and so and so and then suddenly you know there is a little bit of truth you know you 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 encounter with someone who you really like but that person is actually just a reflection of somebody something in your idea that you immediately you know project in that person so then when with that projection your idea Oh this is like you know sometimes we even use the word you we will say ideal person <laughs> right he or she is my ideal person you know what is that mean <laughs> the word ideal right ideal is just oh this is exactly as my idea of what this person should be and then you know we encounter and we interact with that person and when we are interacting with that person we are then our attachment is different you know our idea we because we attach to that idea and then slowly when we get together with that person and many of the things that are coming out of that person is not exactly as our own idea <laughs> right then like what happens then then it becomes a disappointment right disappointment then like a, it's a conflict first you know i thought this person is what my ideal person is and then oh this is not exactly as my, my what i think now this is different and in a way then we actually fight with ourselves but then at the same time our ego still want to prove <laughs> that you're right <laughs> and we trying to prove ourselves right but then things that coming from there is not exactly you know because it is it's a clash now right it's a clash between idea and reality <laughs> so your the reality is different and your idea is different and we are our mission is trying to put this together and in a way it is impossible <laughs> right the idea is coming from here the reality is coming from there and then you know and sometime for some people it's a lifelong mission to to put it together that uh, this is my idea this is the reality and you know the reality should be like my idea and my idea should be like reality <laughs> right and uh, and then you know we get all this you know like a misery all this suffering all this struggle that we create and uh, sometimes even the people kill themselves for that they kill other people you know they uh, you know they don't care about their family they don't care about you know just people do so like an unbelievable thing like just to make this two are your idea and your reality same and does it worth it really it doesn't worth it because we if we understand our idea is just our idea reality is just a reality that's what master shandi deva is actually so isolate <laughs> you know separate it your idea is different from reality your you know reality is different from your idea and then if we really see this
clearly distinction between the reality and the idea, the story and the truth. You know, if we see that, then we will be much more clear. In that clarity, meditation is so easy, <laughs> right? Then meditation, like you know, a dozen, we don't really have to struggle so much in you know meditation because many things that we struggle in our meditation is because we have a very strong belief in our own stories that we are we let ourselves carry it away so that is why the first step is to see that that is that takes a courage that is courage you need courage to see this that it is just my projection i'm just making it i am the creator i am creating my own life story you know so that is if we really see this then we are facing ourselves and we are understanding what we are and then we will understand what courage of the bodhisattva this master shandi deva actually is saying so so now you know, just a simple definition of what is meant by isolation by Master Shantideva.